recording already. Ah, okay. That works too. Hi! So that was a little bit of my jab cross from my punchy, kicky, MMA-inspired workout routine. Didn't realize my husband was actually recording. So here we go for day eight. Yay! Um, yeah, brace yourselves. Because today's exercise is awesome. Alright, it's only 30 seconds, so I'm pretty sure we can all get through this together. And then you can collapse on the floor and die after. Uh, so you're looking forward to it now, I hope. That sounds like an awesome lead up to it. So, day 8 new exercise is... High knees for 30 seconds. Woo! Yay! No? Okay. No, it's okay. It's only 30 seconds. We can do 30 seconds. You've done a minute of other stuff, two minutes of other things. We can do 30 seconds. Okay. So I'll start by showing you the modifier. Modifier for 30 seconds of high knees is going to be a high march. I want you to take it as fast as you can. You don't have to do a march. You can do it a little bit faster pace as well. If you want to do that. Regular high knees. Um, just going to be running. Getting the knees up as high as you can. The goal is to get them higher than your waist. So you can have your hands out if you want to try to slap them. And the slightly more advanced version for today is going to be adding a jump rope motion to it. So that's going to look like this for 30 seconds. All right. So since I've already played myself out just doing the demo, think about how we're going to feel once we're done. And with that, let's go in to our two minute jog in place to get ourselves warmed up a little because I'm breathing heavy and I think that you should join me right with that. Let's go. So even though when I do the demos, I'm trying to keep it at a pretty decent pace. Feel free to take it at your own. Don't worry if you have to drop down to a modifier. If it's only for a few seconds because you need a break, not a problem. Take the break that you need. Come right back into doing the regular version. No one's seeing you do this. Nobody's judging you. I think it's awesome that you're just here along for the ride looking after yourself a bit. So give yourself a well-deserved pat on the back. Keep your chin up. Put a smile on your face. You're happy to be here working out. Getting high of those great endorphins that are flooding your body afterward. Okay, we're up to the 90 second mark here. Which means a little bit longer few more seconds and then we're going to go into our jumping jacks. Okay, ready for the jumping jacks? Three, two, one, 60 seconds. Stay soft, soft on your knees. Light on your toes, full arm extension. Slow down if 
you need to. Step it out, do the modifier. this leg. Let's go. I can tell you right now, I'm looking forward to the break. <laughs> so you think I added it in there for you? but I benefit from it as well. <laughs> if you feel the shelf getting a little bit tight, shake it out, get right back into it. Probably get about 10 seconds left on this leg. Then we're gonna go into the other one. Ooh. Keep your balance. Okay, let's shake it out a little bit again. I can feel myself getting tight through here. All right, right leg back and ready to go. Now for this one, remember, keep yourself in good posture the whole time. I don't want you leaning forward over it. Keep your shoulders, hips aligned. All you're doing is moving them up and down. I worked my legs hard in my kicky punchy routine earlier. <laughs> They're clearly feeling it today. <laughs> okay. We're looking at about 10 seconds left here. Okay, shake it out again. I'm gonna give you a 25 second here. Have a little water break. Shake them out. And you guys remember what's coming up next. So those lovely inchworm push-ups. Water, good. Water, very good. All right. Let's come on down. Get set up for this. Because after we do the inchworm, we're going completely down on the floor for the crunches. All right. Start up and just tilt forward, walk your hands out. High plank, push up, walk them back. Remember that your modifier is on your knees. But you're still doing that full push up. You're still going down as far as you can. Without falling flat in your face. All right, time for one more here. Great, flip on over, come on to your back. And let's 
set the clock for 30, 30 seconds. Ha! Just joking. 60 seconds of crunches. Starting meow. Now something I noticed from going back and reviewing the videos is that I need to keep my elbows out more instead of coming forward like this when I'm lifting up. So if you've been doing that, try to keep them back as much as you can too. And remember your modifier, you're only lifting your head off the floor, shoulders are staying down, and you're advanced with the tabletop. Time. All right, and there we go for that one. Now, after the crunches, what's up next? feel like next is the sumo squats. So we've got 60 seconds of these. Get your legs wide. Remember, unless you're doing the modified, if you want to do the modified, both of your toes are pointing straight out. Knees are going to bend, coming down like you're sitting in a chair, coming back up. If you're doing the regular, your toys, toys, your toes are pointing outward at angles and you're coming down and up. In the advanced version, you're lifting a leg, getting the elbow onto the inside. All right, 60 seconds on the clock here. Let's do this. Coming up, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your butt, and the inside of your thighs. Because that's what we're really working here. Try to come down as far as you can. Can you get lower? A little bit lower? Come on. Push yourself, even if you're doing the regular one. How low can you go? Great, that was your 60 seconds. Okay, now, here's the one that we added on yesterday. This is your alternating side alternating forearm side plank. There you go. So we're stacking the arms like this, make fist, and then we turn our body, modified, you're coming down, you're staying on your knee, regular, just going up, advanced one, Bringing your leg up as well. Okay, Mr. Timekeeper, could we have 60 seconds on this, please? And remember, we're staying in plank, forearm plank position, straight line from your head all the way back. Let's go. If you're really feeling up to it, you did it on your knee yesterday. Maybe try doing the regular, just like that. And if you're doing the regular yesterday, see what happens to your leg. Lift your leg. 
challenge yourself for a few seconds. Push yourself to work harder. Because you can always drop down and do what you were doing before. But you're not going to get better unless you push it. Give yourself an extra challenge. So we should be coming up. And look at that. We're all done. Okay, now. When you take a little stretch back, this is going to be your, your break into child's pose. Just breathe for a few seconds here. So I'm walking my arms out a little bit to get a good stretch in through my back. And I'm back into my legs to help stretch those out a little bit. All right. Let's come up and we're into our 30 seconds of high knees. Grab a drink of water before you start this. Mouth's a little dry. Towel off too if you need it. All right, this is the last one for today. It's only 30 seconds. Let's hit this strong. Ready? Let's do it. have to be fast. Just move through the whole thing as much as you can. You notice I'm pumping my arms a little too. Help me keep my balance. Help me keep my rhythm. seconds and not a full minute. Okay, we're going to take a little stretch here. Okay, cool down. Let's bring the leg up. Try not to tip over. We worked our arms, we worked our legs, we worked our core, we did some cardio. Full multi-purpose workouts right here. And we smiled <laughs> the whole way through. Even if we were gritting our teeth for a little bit, a forced smile. Yes, I love it, I love it, I love it. You still did it. You should be so, so insanely proud of yourself right now. All right, let's bring one arm across, shoulder, drop it down away from your ear. Remember to keep breathing through your cool down. In through your nose, out through your mouth, switch arms. Hopefully your body is getting more used to it now, you're getting in better conditioning, better shape. I bet you're killing the moves that we did in the first couple of days. Now that you've had so much time to practice them, okay, just stretch your chest out a little bit here. Bring your arms, interlace your fingers, bring them down, open your chest a little bit. We did work the shoulders with the push-ups. Oh, that feels good. Okay, that's it for today. See you again tomorrow.